what is up everybody uh, we are watching the imperium cup and we are in a 10 week 100 person tournament with a 400 dollars pot and we've had some really exciting games already a few a few unusual ones lots of drama has ensued some upsets have happened but of course that's expected in a tournament uh this is the biggest dune imperium tournament that has yet happened and i'm very excited to be casting this game for you today uh, we have Group B, and we have Aaron Calder, Bale, Wookley, and Blind Man. Uh, just a little bit of a background on some of these players as we Im get the Imperium Row set up. Um, we've, we've seen Aaron Calder. Aaron Calder actually made it to the finals of a previous tournament, and, uh, and he uh, did very well, so he's a very strong player. And he's promised me some Memnon plays, so I expect to see some Memnon play today. Uh, and we've also seen Wookley before. Wookley has made it to the semis of the previous, so both these players are, you know, they know their stuff. Oh, Aaron Calder going straight for the Leto. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll, I'll get Memnon next game. That's uh, that's all right. Um, but uh, the other players I don't know so well. Bale and Blind Man um, are, have been on the TTS uh, club for a while, been playing a lot. But uh, our, our time zones haven't overlapped too much, so I haven't played with them too much. But I'm sure they are really excited to be in this game, and I've just talked to them briefly. And I uh, yeah, had a little chit-chat before the game, and we are all ready to go. Let's take a look at this Imperium row. We have an assassination mission, and eh, that's kind of poopy. We have a Bene Gesser to initiate. Great early card. Imperial Spy, I like this card. Spice Smuggler's very strong, very strong. Uh, great with a uh, Helena pickup. Uh, power play, probably the strongest card in the row, but this is not a an S tier um, kind of uh, uh, row, right? This is uh, this is kind of a B tier row, but that's okay. Um, we have training drones for our tech. We have hollow projectors. Uh, these are both very strong, and I would see a lot of players going for these early. This kind of surprises me with the Leto pick a little bit, because uh, Leto using Spice a lot probably won't get too much tech. Um, and we also have a Spaceport. Now, I love early Spaceport, and if you've, if you've uh, been following me a little bit, you probably have heard me talk about this card. Uh, Spaceport is an interesting build around card. It's a game, it's a card that can actually make be a big game. And what I mean by that is it's a card that if you choose the right leader, you can potentially start putting cards you immediately need on top of your deck. Like power plays are great cards to put on top of your deck because you know you're getting access to the factions, things like that. The Spice Smuggler is also really great if you really need that um, that uh, access and the, the Solari early or right now, you can you know buy this, buy this uh, and then put it right on top and do that. So uh, an early spaceport is really interesting. <clears throat> we might see potentially a, um, a uh, what is his name here? Um, Armand Kaz for this one. I like a Kaz with, with spaceport. I also like Memnon with, with spaceport. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I just think it's a very strong tech that, that kind of I didn't think it was good at first. Putting cards on top of your deck is not like game breaking, but the fact that you can plan out oh, so, so much better um, with that is great. It also works really well with Helena because she can buy bigger cards and put them on top of the deck. So Helena, uh, Ikaz, I might see a pick here if someone's going for Spaceport. Whoa, we see an Ariana Thorvald. I haven't seen that in a while. Ariana Thorvald is uh, not regarded too highly by most people. I think she's one of the weaker leaders, but perhaps Blind Man's thinking that this is going to be maybe a water light game, and that would be great, or maybe a spice heavy game. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a spice heavy game. I don't see a lot of spice in the Imperium row right now, but we'll see what they're doing with that. We got a beast in second position for Bale. That's always good. Beast is good in most positions, and a Baron in first position. Don't like that. Don't like Bear. Don't like Baron before the beast. Uh, beast can kind of counter you and make your life miserable. So, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, lots, lots to say about this. Um, so we got Baron. Probably going to pick the uh, two usual. We'll see what he gets. He gets, uh, yeah usual nothing really to, to write home about here <clears throat> and we're off so we've got a ah, pretty miserable hand for both baron and beast miserable hand for uh for ariana wow just a 
terrible, terrible hands and a pretty good hand for Leto. Pretty, pretty good hand for Leto. So I don't know what's going to go on here. This is this is awkward. The Baron getting his ring early is great. So we might see just a ring to like a smuggling or something like that to get the, the Solari and, you know, get out ahead of the intrigues. But, oh my God, this is a terrible, terrible hand for most players. Yeah, and our first skirmish is a point, so that's good. Um, this is one of the better ones. And yeah, look at that. We gotta, we're gonna see a signet ring over to smuggling. So uh, luckily, you know, not messing around, sees that he needs to get the intrigue right away, picks up a strategic push. So this one is solid for later on. Might try to go in early, uh, possibly next, next round. This one's forcing you to really go now, isn't it? Ooh, I wonder about that. It's really forcing you into a combat right now. So we'll see what he does. Um, we've got a reconnaissance to Arakeen, trying to fix the hand. Picks up a signet ring, not too, too shabby. Uh, that will help him out. He's going to put two troops in. Of course, Beast able to just, you know, strong arm the players into going into combat because he has so much extra power and having the extra two daggers in hand or the two daggers in hand will pretty much guarantee this combat for him now Ar ariana what does ariana do here we've got a uh, dagger might be compelled to go into combat has five by already isn't going to be able to get any draw at the moment but it looks like we're going to go see maybe some spice harvesting here Spice two cards. Spice two cards isn't terrible. Spice two cards might be actually pretty good for right now with such a terrible hand. And um, having a little think here. I think this is an important choice. Yeah, I think possibly the spice is is what the doctor ordered here. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'd do. I like going to Carthag too. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. It looks like it's gonna be Carthag. It picks up a, yeah, Master Attack. All right, that's great. Um, always a great card to have. And uh, gonna send anybody in? This siding here. So it's, it's a difficult decision, but I, st I still think you do. I think you send two in maybe. Two or three. If you send three in, you're committing to the combat, and you have no way of doing combat after this action. So probably just want to like send two in, and get second place. One I think is not going to work, but maybe two. I would also have, yeah. I mean, this is okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, this is respectable. This is respectable. This is a really awkward hand for for. Uh, Ariana, you really want to have like another dune and and like access to steel suits or something like that. But, you know, we're going to see wealth for Leto. That's pretty standard. Um, going up on the tracks, doing a thing. Not going to have the ring this round, but next round. Baron going up to tech negotiation. Of course, a very good one early. Can't put anything into his play area yet. Can't get a training drones or hollow projectors just yet, um, but is definitely eyeing one of those. Beast is now looking at a signet ring play, um, but where to? And that's the question. Um, probably at this moment, you just get one spice. I, I maybe, and you keep your water for the next turn. I don't know what else you're gonna do. Um, you could also just reveal but uh, a buy of four, what does that get you? Buy of four gets you nothing. Baron's gonna have a buy of six, so there's really not much going on for the persuasion this round. Um, Ariana, I would have liked to see from Ariana like a, a play with dagger two tech negotiation first to get to that five. Um, so you could potentially get the power play. I mean, the power play is gonna go to the Baron, sounds like. But it's just uh, Imperial Basin for Beast. Another troop in trying to secure this combat. Uh, might be a little disappointed if Ariana does end up playing Master Attack and winning this combat. Goes up to eight. Goes up to eight. So he's at ten, he's sitting at ten right now with no combat. And uh, 
Ariana has, uh, no, I'm sorry, he's sitting at 10, um, 8 plus 2, and Ariana's sitting at 6 plus 2, so 8 plus a potential 3, um, which I think right now you just reveal, right? I mean, what else are you going to do? You know, you reveal, you get your Bene Gesserit initiate, you get your assassination mission or something like that, or you get your Spice Smuggler. Spice Smugglers is a little poopy for Ariana, given that you don't get that much spice this in this kind of game. Um, maybe like, you know, just Bene Gesserit initiate. Or maybe you just go for some Arrakis liaisons, which are just fine. I don't know. This is a really bad row. I think given that the 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 row is just sort of meh you'd probably want to be the one to pick up the power play or the other access card yeah the imperial spy is a pretty good choice um good choice because it gives you access to some solari which is always nice let's see what they do here mm, okay i i like this choice the the choice of the Benny Jesser initiate also solid, uh, also solid because it gives you so many access symbols. Uh, Stilgar shows up in the row. That's very strong. Baron could possibly go for Stilgar. I'd say it's almost better than going for power play right now. You could always pick up the power play later. You don't have to pick up the the power play right now. Um, yeah, so Leto getting the Mentat, always good, draws uh, Reconnaissance. Baron picking up the Assassination Mission and Stilgar with six. Uh, and Beast going to... Pick up what here? Imperial Spy? I may be Spice Hunter this. I don't know. It's one of these, maybe possibly Spice Smuggler. Spice Smuggler is very strong. It's very strong for Beast. Getting the extra access for the um, the Spacing Guild is no joke. It's no joke. Um, the Solari is great. Oh, that's surprising. Just going for Arrakis Liaison. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't disagree with that play i just feel like you know the spice smugglers will get you better results and you're already sitting on the two spice right now maybe uh we've already got a blue reveal so it's a red reveal oh i'm sorry a red play we got a diplomacy diplomacy guard probably going down to like fold space yeah fold space pretty good uh already leto is looking like pulling ahead um, just because of the awful hands that the other players had. But note that they will have no access next round. They've played both their cards, haven't they? They played their Seek Allies and their Diplomacy. They might redraw one. All right. He's not going to challenge for it. Okay, I think this might have been <clears throat> a bit of a oversight here on Ariana's point, but that's okay. Getting the extra uh, Solari is nice, and the Intrigue picks up the Water of Life from that, so that actually does pay off. Might be better than the point in this case. So we'll see. And it is action on the beast. So we've got Raban with a now pretty good hand. Did both the, your access cards. It's a little awkward always when you've got both of them in your hand and your ring. You're not going to be able to do all those things. So you're going to have to pick and choose and you'll have a maybe four or three buy. I think right now you just go get tech, right? I mean, tech here, get the hollow projectors or the uh, training drones, get get your engine going. If you're gonna be combating, go do the drones, you know. I, I still think that the hollow projector is just a better card, um, but drawing card seems is better than a troop, but you know, if you don't have any um, enablers for unload cards, it could be a problem. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good hand, but it's also a little awkward. So we'll see what he does here. I think I'd probably be tempted to Signet Ring to Tech and then um, Hardy Warriors uh, second action, but you're probably not gonna get Hardy Warriors second action, will you? Because the Baron's gonna get it. So a good block would probably be like Hardy Warriors maybe. Um, everyone's a bit slow at the gate to get up the tracks. Um, Ariane with a very good hand. 
Uh, the the Le Duke Leto has picked up his diplomacy again, so the shuffle has really paid off. But now he's sitting on a really good hand, and the deck que the deck that he seems to have queued up, the six cards are very strong. So, you know, Leto is looking very good right now. Aaron Calder with a a pretty solid start. I'd be most scared of that. Be still tanking. Here's the signet ring. Okay, he's gonna signet ring to the smuggling. Uh, that's also great. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing wrong with that. We're gonna see a seek allies for Ariana, and she is heading up to wealth. Probably trying to hit up the uh, what the um, swordmaster as soon as possible. Once she gets the swordmaster, I think she really takes off. So. That's good. Uh, we shall see. It's a fold space for Duke Leto, so possible chance to block for all the other players and nothing, nothing to fold space. Just giving giving Duke Leto access to interstellar shipping. I think that is a major, major blunder here. And here's some normal shenanigans from the Beast doing the thing, getting the Hardy, War Hardy Warriors, going up on spacing, going up on uh, the the Fremen getting the extra point. And yeah, that's what you expect the Baron to do. Um, there's no guarantee that the Baron's gonna get access to the fold space for another two turns though, because of the awkward hand he's had. In fact, he might not have it for three or more turns. So a little bit possibly touch and go for the Baron, we'll see. Probably gonna pick up this this combat though with the uh, strategic push in hand. Um, very unlikely that this is gonna, you know, be overturned. Uh, we'll see what they do, but that's probably my guess. Beast here with again a lot of options, a lot of options. Looks like he's gonna sit on four by. Nope, gonna consider it three by. And he's heading over to Secrets. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Counselor's Dispensation is gonna get him a two spice if he has high counsel. Probably won't be doing that this game, so might want to shuffle that away with the Sonic Snoopers or something like that. That is not the best thing for the beast. Ariana is going to be looking at what here? You've already gone to wealth. You probably just want to go still suit. No, I don't know. You probably want to go get some spice, don't you? Uh, actually, no. You let it accumulate. Go go to still suits and right. Yeah, you go to still suits. You let it accumulate. You shuffle back, redraw your your triangles, and then you get five spice or four spice and a card draw. That seems the ticket here. I don't know. Maybe just call me old fashioned. I love hostaging the Great Flat, and no one else can do anything about it. This combat does not reward water. So, if uh, if Blind Man picks up on this, it might be a really solid play here. I mean, there's not a whole lot else he can do, right? It's it's basically just still suits with this card. There's no other spot. So. I think he's just deciding whether that's actually what he wants to do. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, you gotta go up the tracks, so now's the time to do it. Now you can't go there. Can't go there. Okay, there we go. So we go into still suits. He gets the water, moves up the track. Make sure you move up the Fremen track here. There you go. And uh, already has one in the combat, so might just pick up a spice and a, an intrigue card. That would be nice. We have Signet Ring for the Duke. Yep. Oh, ah, this is awkward, isn't it? Um, 
yeah, you don't get to go up on a track with no spice. That sort of hurts. I think it would actually probably been better just to go, go spice hunting there. Um, and then we have a reconnaissance for the Baron to Siege Tabor. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to take his water here in a second, deciding what he's going to get. There's the water. Throwing any other troops? Probably not. I mean, it doesn't seem great, does it? You're already up at 8 to 2. No one else is really bothered by this. The Duke, you get a couple in, but you're not worried about that. Picks up Test of Humanity. Great card. Great pickup. Very solid 3 cost. One of the best in the game, actually. 2 Persuasion, and it makes the opponent discard a card or, deployed, or lose a deployed troop. Um, and a reveal for three for uh, Ariana. Probably, what are you eyeing here if you're Ariana? I think the Spice Smugglers you just take away. Maybe the Spice Hunter? I don't know. Spice Smuggler is just a better card, and no one's really jumped on it yet. Since you're going to be a little bit flush with Spice here in the next round, you might decide to do that. There's another one. They're just, just popping out of the deck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and we're gonna see what some spice here. Go Leto to Haga Basin. Oh no! Of course, of course, the good old interstellar shipping, everyone's favorite. And then uh, reveal for the Baron for two. Wouldn't be surprised if Baron picked up this other spice smugglers. Um, or the from an excess with uh, Spice Hunter. Both are good. Spice Smuggler is probably better. If he has any other Fremen cards, which he does. So maybe maybe the Fremen card is correct here. I don't know. The uh, Arrakis Liaison is also probably just better <laughs> most of the time. The excess is nice though. I don't know. We're deciding. It's a tough, tough call. Yeah. All right. Rackus liaison. So we're we're gonna see like a more persuasion heavy baron here. Probably gonna go find a um, high council here in a little bit. Reveal for three for Aaron Calder for Luke for Duke Lito. And doesn't look like he's buying anything. So we're gonna go straight to combat. Blue's not gonna play anything. Green's gonna win it. Uh, is not going to play anything either. Oh, is going to play. Okay, just for the... Wow, okay. Sure. Might as well. Might as well. And uh, point for the Baron. We're sitting at three. Leto at two. Ariana at one. Beast at two. Two for red, we have uh, blue is at one, and green is at three. Fix that for them here in a second. Apologies, there we go. Just so you all can visualize that. Of course, we have the overlay. Uh, and it is Ariana's turn, and Ariana sitting on a Spice Smuggler is going to want to use that as best as possible this turn. Can do. This is a good, great flat turn for her, or him, or them. And uh, even has Water of Life to capitalize on this. Possibly buying a Spice Must Flow this early. So we're going to see, um, we're going to see Dune Desert Planet 2. Okay, Haga Basin, always good. So going to get three Spice is going to draw a card. You did not draw a card, it is mandatory. Uh, there you go.
you go. All right. Otherwise, what are you playing this character for? Uh, all right. Uh, we've got Leto heading over with a fold space to. All right. Uh, interstellar shipping seems the ticket. Down up. Taking the Solari. Everyone gets one Solari. Uh, is going to draw a card with fold space. <laughs> Get two troops and go up where? Spacing? Okay. It's always good to get that that alliance if you can do it. Um, Baron. Ooh, the poopy hand. Um, Baron hit with a diversion and no way to use it. Advanced weaponry you pick up last round. Uh, a good card, very good card. Could be used this turn to win this combat. Uh, no way to pay off with that yet, but I mean, in getting an early Dreadnought is nothing nothing to shake a, your hand at. It's pretty good. It's not amazing. You like to spend your Solari doing other things, though. Um, What does the Baron do here? Uh, it's a pretty shrewd play from Ariana, actually cutting off the Baron from water, sending him, you could go to Imperial Basin, but that doesn't feel that good. Looks like that's what's going to happen. Alternatively, could just go down with smuggling. It looks like that's what's going to happen. Going down with smuggling puts him in, in range of Swordmaster this turn. This is a pretty important Baron play here. Do you get the spice for the future? Or do you set up your economy with the Swordmaster? Looks like we're going to get some spice. Okay. Here comes the Dreadnought. Here comes two more troops. I assume. Perhaps not. <laughs> um... We'll see. This is already a little bit of a weird game. Okay, there they go. All right. Yes, you got to go in there. It's That's what you do, right? It's too bad you can't use this diversion at all, but, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Smuggling for Beast. Going to capitalize on the Baron's misstep, I think, or possibly slow to react to the... Um, to the Swordmaster, and it's going to get their Swordmaster this round. No one can stop them from doing that. Um, a cull pickup from Ariana. I'd miss this one, but that's that's a nice one to have. Be able to get rid of some some unnecessary cards here late game. Uh, yeah, can't go to Siege Tabor just yet. Great flat. All right, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, is going to pick up five, four more spice and draw a card. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, no troops for blue, so isn't going to be able to really get in there um, and threaten this terrible purpose. It's pretty terrible. We've got Dagger coming up from Leto. Mm-hmm. Mentat shenanigans, that is what Leto does. You expect that. Uh, Leto's sitting on six purchase, six persuasion, Baron with just two. This is pretty bad. Very low persuasion game right now. Even Beast is sitting on five in hand, but is going to actually spend more time doing things. Um, the question is, who is going to get this power play? It kind of looks like it's going to be Ariana at the moment with a sitting on a six persuasion. Bit of a decision here whether Baron's gonna buy anything. I think you buy Arrakis liaison here. I don't well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's going for high persuasion. This this makes a lot of sense for Baron. Um, none of these other cards are gonna get you to Spice Must Flow, and you're trying to do something different than the Beast. And Beast seems to be wanting to fight here. At least from what I can tell. 
it's it's not quite fighting beast but it's definitely potentially fighting beast i'm also very surprised no one has yet gone up for tech negotiation and just buy hollow projectors or training drones these cards these tiles are very powerful what does chief do chief administrator uh discard a card to trash a card always there to help we got a call here trashing a card trashing a dagger um new player new player learning the game still so we're just helping that a little bit it's the community you know it's not just about crushing people it is about helping them out uh nope can't type it all reveal so probably gonna pick up the power play I'd imagine the power play here is very good um, I mean what else do you do what else is there <clears throat> what else is there for you I, I suppose you can try to get some tech you know with that Ixian engineer but spice hunters bad it's not bad, it's okay. Guild Chief Administrator is just okay. It's, it's fine. Uh, Spice Smugglers is fine. Power Play is the strongest card here by a mile. I think taking the Ixian Engineer is a bit of a throw, but we'll see. Okay, Ixian Engineer here. Desert Ambush, pretty strong card. We'll see if this comes up. This is a really strange game. Um, we'll see where it pivots. Maybe it might pivot towards a little bit more uh, combat later on as people start to lack access because there's not too much access going around stage incident for for the leto very powerful card <clears throat> uh, as the baron's already revealed it is beast's third agent we got the reconnaissance and this is going to be a carthag i'd imagine sure is oh no he's gonna break my heart no you can do it either one you want whatever they're like pretty much the same i don't like drawing last action though yeah corner the market oh wow okay well so beast is sitting on two cards that are telling him to go get a high council seat asap as fast as humanly possible um that is a little bit awkward for the beast. We'll see what happens there. Uh, the cards are definitely coming up in Ariana and Leto's favor right now. Not so much with the beast, not so much with Baron. Got a reveal of five. This is going to be an administrator, and there's a boundless ambition. Leto is going to be interested in that. Baron might be interested in that. Actually, all of these characters would be interested in that. Beast probably the most. But uh, won't be able to get it this round. Only has four. This is a really interesting pickup, the Guild Chief Administrator. I don't know how I feel about it. I've played with this card a couple times, and I feel like it's just not good enough. Like, discarding the card, you can, you can obviously trash the card you discard. So it's basically the same thing, but it also triggers unload cards. We haven't seen very many of those in this game. So I wonder what the plan is with that card um it doesn't combo well with hollow projectors i mean you can discard a card to draw a card and then you discard it to trash it i don't know we'll see what they do with that um interesting interesting looks like we're going to combat and i don't think anyone's going to challenge wookley here wookley's just going to take it um going up to four points and the beast starting to pull away here i'm sorry baron starting to pull away here sends uh, the dreadnought up to carthag gets to trash a card gets to trash his assassination mission and gain four solari that is a very very good boon for the baron um and uh then we're gonna see spice and water for for beast that's it 
light on the combat this game, even though there's been two two points already. Um, let's keep track of that for everyone. Now, alrighty. Action on Leto. Very, very good hand for Ariana Thorvald. Wow. Got Spice Smugglers, we've got Bene Gesserit Initiate, we've got Diplomacy. Very strong. Needs to get some access to Interstellar here. I don't know how that's going to happen. Leto's going to Interstellar immediately and go up again. And uh, Leto's going to start to pull ahead here. Where's that red token? Up and down for Leto. Gonna get Spice, use the ring. This is gonna be a pretty big one here. And then up again with Fremen. Yeah. Oh, no, up with the spacing for the point. And Aaron Calder suddenly pulling ahead by a mile here. Not connect with Baron, but uh, looking strong. Seven troops in combat, or seven troops in the garrison. Uh, yeah, yeah, Leto took took the spice, not the Solari this time. Already had the Solari. Was getting the Solari with the um, alliance bonus up here. And uh, yeah, I don't know what you do here if you are the rest of the table. How are you going to catch these? Alliances. Our Baron with a bit of a think here. The, I mean, do you Dune Desert Planet just to smuggle and then get some Solari so you can get your Swordmaster? That's never going to happen. Leto's going to get there before you. Maybe you just go for the High Council or you do something else. It is gonna be a smuggling, and it's a down or an up. It's an up, okay. Interesting choice, interesting choice. Playing for the long game here. Needs the bump on the influence track, that's important. Select a breeding for beast. Selective breeding, very good. Getting the point, moving up to three. And trashing the dagger. Drawing two cards, seeing Arrakis Liaison, two, three, four, five, six. Has six to buy. Isn't gonna get to nine this round. Well, could still get there, actually, with a research station play. Could possibly get there. Uh, Ariana's looking at what? Gotta go fold space. It's a little late, it feels. You could go into combat. This does not seem like a very good combat to win. This is sort of the chaos. This is one that you want as a tempo play uh, to get very cheaply. It's not great. The extra, the, the extra worker, the extra agent is fine, but... It's not really doing you any favors if you're trying to buy Spice Sauce Flow. It's, it's kind of bad if you are. Um, goes up with, uh, goes to Wealth, gets some Solari. Is up to six Solari, so not quite to Swordmaster, but can go Highline, or go to uh, High Council. Gets a point with the. Um, yeah, you already got it. <laughs> Got that. Yeah, you're good. He's already got it. No, no, you already got it. You don't need it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Mentat for Leto. Leto is just probably going to hit this Mentat every single turn. And why not? Why Why not? No one is threatening going to the, the Swordmaster. You can take your time. 
We'll probably see a staged incident here from Leto. This is a great staged incident turn, just because there's no reason you need to get the Mentat for next round. You don't care. You've had three extra agent actions for, or an extra agent action every round of the game. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is going to put a little pressure on the Baron, just or to the Alito, with the Baron going to Carthag to get the extra Solari. That's pretty good. Um, it does mean you can get Swordmaster if Leto doesn't. Uh, but you are giving up a lot of persuasion here. I might actually consider just going up to tech negotiation here. Tech negotiation is better for you. Um, you really need the extra extra draw, especially if you're going... Pers uh, yeah, see, this is what you don't want to do. If you're going high persuasion, you're building a lot of high persuasion, and you start getting private armies or combat cards, that kind of hurts. Kind of hurts. Got to put one in. That makes it. That makes sense. I mean, you got to do it. You're gonna get paid off. It's probably gonna be Duke Leto to uh, get a point and not to bother with the Mentat at all. Here's the beast. To Arakeen, drawing a card, picking up. Oh, there you go. Test of humanity. Very strong. So now, be sitting on two, three, four, five, six, seven. Persuasion. Uh, doesn't have enough for High Council, or they could definitely buy Spice Must Flow. That would have been nice, especially with this corner of the market at hand, but, you know, you do what you can. Decide to throw one in. Probably doesn't care about winning this too much. Although, it, it actually might be better if you did win it right, because you're so far away from Swordmaster. I mean, you've already... Have you already got a Swordmaster? Oh, you already got a Swordmaster. He doesn't even need this. I think this is just a bit of a flex. I don't even think he needs to bother. It's just a denial from Baron. He does need to make up some ground, though, from Baron, so that's okay. I still don't think this is really... I don't know. The intrigues are fine. The Solari is fine. You do need to get Solari, that's true. Okay, so he's reconsidering. I don't know. Do what you want to do, man. you you got to put some stuff in. All right, never mind. Feel like uh, sometimes I, I I say what they're doing and then they do it and I I don't I don't know. I feel like I'm commanding them. <laughs> not even not even in the same room. All right. Anyway, we've got Ariana with uh, two persuasion now from High Council. That's good. Good for her. She's got five right now potentially more but no water at the moment no just five yeah no water so can't can't use water of life um and then we saw the good old sword master for duke Lito, of course baron was not going to get that it's a reveal of five for baron yeah, you definitely get Boundless. Boundless is solid. Oh, there's a Duncan. All right, Duncan, Idaho. Things are shifting a little bit towards combat. If you notice, at the beginning of the game, there was no combat. And suddenly, look at all these swords on cards here. So the combat late game is going to be better. We're seeing cannon turrets. Okay, good thing. I'd say, well, yeah, I mean, it's it's good you, one of your opponents does have a Dreadnought. So there's that. Let's see if it actually comes into play here. Did he... going on here why did they discard it oh test of humanity oh test of humanity <laughs> oh i missed it okay that's what happens when you're just talking 
All right, Test of Humanity forced the this card, but did not stop Duncan Idaho by from Blind Man. Aaron Calder is going into combat. This is an entirely, entirely staged incident. Uh, Beast will be a little sad to not throw one troop in here, you know, just to get the second place. It's a, it's a, literally everything for Leto. It is an extra leader, or an extra, extra agent, an extra card to Solari. Um, that's, that's great. Not a lot to buy, but you don't really care right now. You're just kind of sailing by with, with these combats. Uh, Beast picks up five for the power play. Power play for, for Beast. Great card. More combat cards coming. Shy Hulud has shown up. Praise the Maker in his water. Look at that. We have possibly um, pretty crazy combat later on. We'll see if anyone gets there. It's not... I mean, it's, it's possible for Ariana. It's not possible for a lot of these players. Not going too high with Persuasion. Baron getting the uh, Boundless Ambition. This is a great card. It's a really good engine card to kind of get your deck going. The problem with it is, is it does not give you Persuasion, so you can't use it to buy Spice on Flows if that's the plan. Uh, Aaron Carlder or uh, Lito is going to stage the incident this. Going to go up to five. Oh, six actually. What was the six for? Oh, that spacing guild. We missed one. That's going to do it for that round. We have uh, Desert Power. No cities showing up. All right, and the Biscuit is with the Baron, and we have Diplomacy Stilgar, Rex the Asan. Uh, good stuff here. Let's see a Stilgar. Stilgar to... Yeah, I like this. I like the uh, Interstellar. I think you go up down here, right? I mean, up down. These are pretty solid. You want the Hollow Projector? Hollow Projectors has got to be good, right? What does Hollow Projectors do? It gets you rid. It gets rid of your daggers when you draw them, so you can buy Spice Mess Flow. That's what it does. Um. So we'll see what he does here. He's he's just debating whether this is an up down or a down up. But I'd probably go up down. Yeah, here's up down. So gonna buy for one. I can see the the you know the trepidation for going up down and losing a spice over this, but Going up with the Fremen, okay. Gets the water. Had the guy, all right. What are they called? Tech negotiators. Yes, okay, so didn't need to pay. Gets the Solari then, yeah. Just deciding on Solari or Spice here. I can see the argument for both. Uh, we did see a shuttle fleet come up and that might interest Ariana Thorvald very much. See what the beast has to, to say here. He's trying to get some Solari, but having a tough time. Probably want to go get some spice and then go up to conspire. That's my guess. Mm -hmm. But this is not going to get you enough, right? I see. What is going on here? So three spice. What does that get you? Hall projectors? That's fine. Does it get you selective breeding possibly for a point? And yeah, it must be that, right? No, he's taking it back. Yep. Yeah. 
So flip it, discard a card, to draw a card. I think Wookley is saying that he wanted to do the training drones, but he'll be able to do it next time, right? Anyway, I don't see why he would do it since he went to the interstellar shipping anyway, right? That doesn't make sense. Here's all of projectors for Ariana. It's going to cost three. Uh, yeah. So we've got two spice there. I got one spice. Did you? He did pay because he was at six. He was at nine. He was at nine. Yep, yep, yep. It's a discard draw. Yep, so you have a chance of redrawing it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want don't want those in your play area. They can get shuffled back if the bad things happen. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, all right, and so picks up a signet ring. That's gonna be good. Has no water right now, but definitely is gonna want that. Uh, no access to siege. Signet ring is very good if you can go to siege. Two water for one action is pretty solid. Ariana without any troops in garrison and needs to go replenish those troops. How's she gonna do that? Just go highliners. Leto, going to be using Signet Ring this round for sure, but what do you do before that? Also picked up a Sleeper Must Awaken. Another point for, for the Duke. Um, and they'll try to get there somehow, all right? No water at the moment, so has to get there the honest way. tricky turn for for the duke what do you do do you chief administrator not sure okay erikeen erikeen picks up a dagger that's not going to help too much is going to get a troop and can spend their spice to go up probably with Bene Gesserit I assume um, but that gets you further away from sleeper must awaken I mean, I think you do it anyway, right? Okay, with Fremen, that works. Yeah, Fremen also. You can challenge Fremen. That makes sense. I guess Bad Jester is a foregone conclusion anyway, so. Here is Swordmaster for the, for the Baron. And now we are on combat four, five. Well, for the beast, finally he's going to be able to get his uh, high council. And on to uh, Ariana. I'm just thinking about putting. No, you can't put anything in. What is he thinking about here? It's got to be Ariana's end, right? So, Ariana. Looking at a Carthag play, possibly. Um, I might be tempted to use Ring to go to Carthag, get the water, play play the uh, Water of Life, try to redraw, get to Spice Must Flow this turn. You gotta start catching up. You've only had two points. There's not a lot of turns left in the game. Three more turns in the game. Okay, here's a Signet Ring. I send the agent first, but all right. Okay. Yep, they're just making it clear to him. Got to send the agent before you get the bonus, so you can't use the water that your ring gives you to then go to Haga Basin or anything like that. 
Picks up a second wave. That's a good one, but no combat troops yet. Really, only one in the in the garrison. Is this something you want to fight for? I'd be tempted to right now just water of life to know whether I needed to push troops into the garrison or into the combat. I mean, I think you just do it, right? You could potentially win this combat. You could potentially win this combat with one guy. Here's High Council for Duke Leto. Leto with two actions left. Pretty scary. Diplomacy for the Baron heading over to the Hardy Warriors. Picks up a point. And he's going to send it all in. So he's going to send four troops, three troops and a, and a Dreadnought in. And no, can't do that. Oh, yeah, he can. He had the training drones. Let's him do that. Yeah, he sure can. And he gets the diversion here. Has to send the fourth troop in to get the diversion. Oh, units. No, he doesn't. Just units works. So here we go. <laughs> finally gets that that bonus it's funny it's held that card the entire game it's so hard to get to work all right action on the beast it's going to be last action of this round do you reveal now what are you picking up if you do nothing could be a starter car uh legion but decides not to oh it could still could still Goes tech negotiation, so still sitting on five. And Ariana, uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Has eight. I mean, you water of life here, right? You eight. You you water of life to hit the extra. Uh, the extra buy. You got to get some spice. Seeing the play, all right. Seeing the play, let's do it. Here we go, three cards. Gets there, for sure. And gets another water, wow, that's gonna be a good one. Awesome, awesome. This is gonna be a good one for, for Ariana, actually. He's gonna pick up this point, looks like. Oh, maybe not, actually, where did all of that combat cards go? Oh yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 for the Baron. Still could they get there? You have two here. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not quite. Not quite. Could get second place, but it's not worth two cards. Not at all. Um, yeah. Card cost one. Mm -hmm. Bit of a kerfuffle here. We'll see There's some some maybe issue. No issue, everything is fine, tip, tip top. Siege Tabor for, for Leto. Uh, is Leto gonna go into this combat? I think Leto does go into this combat. I think they're gonna end the game pretty soon here. So I was gonna discard the dagger and trash it. And yeah, maybe puts another one in it. Does not. So I was happy with second place. Happy with second place. Could potentially get third, but I don't know if that's necessarily important. Maybe it is important for Ariana to, to dump the Master Tactician to get a water, but I think that that's 
It's pretty rough. Baron looking pretty scary suddenly with this deck. The blackmail and the private army along with uh, Stilgar forced to be reckoned with. Beast going to decide whether he wants to take the Sardaukar Legion. And uh, it's a good card. You can do that. It might work well on your deck. It doesn't buy for too much. The Spice Trader does, however. However, Beast sitting on zero influence. Um, so probably not. Probably not. I don't know, it's, a, it's awkward, right? It's possible that Beast is just hoping that um, Spy Satellites comes up or something like that. As they have three tracks at one or zero. So that'd be three points for Beast. So, I mean, it, you know, a bit weird. Uh, Leto's last action is to Hog Basin. Doesn't throw anything in, just gets some spice, buys Spice Trader, and is very happy with this set of. Um... No one's going to go combat, looks like. Beast might go combat? No. No, Beast's not in combat. I'm sorry. Ariana might go combat. He's not going to. That is it. Point for Baron. Baron sitting at six. Has to send the uh, Dreadnought out. I don't know, where do you go here? Carthag probably. Imperial Basin's the best one, right? Imperial Basin is for the spice is the best, but that's okay. Carthag's also good. And it's going to be Machinations. Machinations. It's going to interest a lot of pe people here. Action on the Beast. Gets his power play. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's going to definitely need that here. Catch up on some of these tracks. Solid beast play here to Haga Basin makes a lot of sense. Still doesn't... He, now he can go High Council, though. So this might be a good turn to, like, you know, draw at Research, go to High Council. No one else can get to High Council before you, right? So you're kind of unobstructed. Is instead going to do what? Okay, go get Spice. Spice works, too. Going up to six spice, gonna threaten Highliner here. That's another good play. Getting the Highliner, no one else has Highliner. Um, no one else quite has a Highliner. Big question is, what does Ariana want to do here? They already have High Council. They probably just need water, right? Water, um, do they want any of these techs? This shuttle fleet is pretty good. Um, what does it get you? It gets you a point with Fremen. It gets you half. It gets you almost to alliance with Emperor. You, no one else is really going to get it either. Oh, interesting. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? Discarding spice. Why don't you discard the spice muscle here? He wants the soul. He wants the spice. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a little bit of a questionable choice, I think, but I think you don't really need the spice as much as you need the persuasion. Sitting at six persuasion right here. Action to tech puts you at seven. The draw would have brought you to, I guess they would have been the same. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure what I would have done in that situation, but it is pretty interesting. Still think like possibly tech negotiations the right play. You can also go Haga Basin and just put some pressure. No, not Haga Basin. I'm sorry. Yeah, Haga Basin and put some pressure on um, on beasts to go to. Um, no, you gotta send out your guy first. <laughs> send out your guy first.
It's always important to send your agent first. Send your agent first because otherwise you get in situations where you're walking things back and you don't know how much you paid and you already did things. So send the agent, pay the costs, then do the actions. Okie doke. It's a trip to Arakeen. We're going to see a draw. He's already gone up with with the space and guild. Um, the get these Solari. Dune Desert Planet for interstellar shipping for Leto. No surprises there. We've got a desert ambush here in Leto's hand. This has been a bit of a, a non-combat game so far where players have sort of just won a combat with hardly any competition. No one's really gone in. Everyone's sitting on some amount of combat cards, but the game is going to end soon. Um, we've got Beast, I'm sorry, Baron and and Duke Leto on six points. It's a two horse race right now. And the other players are gonna need to turn their resources into points somehow. Uh, we're gonna go to a first level three conflict next round. So maybe they're all saving it for that, but I am a little surprised that we haven't seen more players go into combats. Baron just not really sure what to do here. I don't know. I mean, got a lot of, a lot of uh, water here. It could be a research station. It could be a Carthag. It could be a ring to Carthag. Ring to research station. Both of those things seem really good. Ring to Carthag is like kind of nuts. I mean, I, I know you're worried about people stealing your stuff, but. We are going to go researching. Didn't pay their thing yet. Okay, there we go. Draw three, take an entry. Gets a finesse, one of my favorite cards. Finesse, very, very, very powerful. You can do all sorts of fun things with it. The two daggers are fine. Oh, and gets the boundless ambition. So we'll see a second ring for bear in this round. That's pretty good. Could use the finesse. What could you use the finesse for here? Uh, Baron going to ah, kind of an awkward spot, sitting at zero with the Bene Gesserit, two with the Spacing Guild. Don't want to really do that. Don't want to give up your uh, alliance either. So it is a little bit weird. Maybe not the best pickup. Beast just uh, you know doing beast things here. Going to this, gets his finally gets his high council, so we'll maybe get some some spice must flows and can finally use his counselor's dispensation. Might as well use it now. It's been cluttering up his hand for so long. But he declines, he's gonna use it next round. Or next action, maybe. We'll just save it as an ace in the hole. It's kind of nice to have. Uh Beast doesn't really want to use this power play on the Bene Gesserit to draw, but is kind of looking like they're going to right now. Um, kind of looking like they're going to. It, the thing is that if they don't start buying Spice Mills Flows this turn, are they going to ever get there? That's the question we have to ask. Because the power play is going to trash itself. We're going to trash the, like the Dune Desert Planet. And then we need to start drawing some twos. We have three in hand, we have five total. So we need to buy, we need to get four with two draws. I don't think that's really possible here. I don't think that's what you do. So not not hundred percent sure what Beast's next plan is. It might just be Highliner. Ariana going up to four points here. And move her up for them to keep track because no one keeps track of this for some reason they keep track on the side it's very annoying um, and uh, getting the water Just 
still not throwing anyone in the combat. I I don't know. Two, four, six. And Ariana only sitting at six buys. This is in this weird space where you've got a bunch of stuff in your deck that doesn't buy. Leto's setting up for a couple of Spice Most Flows at the end of the game. Has already trashed a lot of stuff that's bad. Um, and this trip to, to Selective Breeding is going to really pay off. In fact, it does. Hits a nine. He's got nine by. So, I mean, I think you just reveal next turn, right? You just reveal? Is that what you do? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems good to me. Here goes the Baron. Baron is going to Secrets. Going to go up. Going to get another Intrigue. This is a little bit sketchy for the Baron here. Because they're not going to get an action. Oh, it could definitely... Well, they have a lot of ways to use their... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because he used it twice. Yeah, so he gets Secrets. Wow. Wow, look at all this combat for the B for Baron. God, I keep getting confused. Ambush, Private Army, Finesse, Black Bill, Private Army. Um, I think they have all the cards. There's no, there's no more. There's got to be no more combat in the deck. <laughs> um, you better win combats, I guess. So go for it. Here comes a highlighter. This is going to be a power play point for the Beast. Are they all getting in here? I mean, this is a it's it's an awkward hand for for Beast. This these intrigue cards are not doing any favors right now. Yeah, maybe like one more. I don't know. Yeah, okay, that works. I mean, the thing that's really funny <laughs> is that it's not going to be enough, <laughs> right? Is it? Baron has an action left, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Baron has six persuasion. Isn't quite there. This would have been a, a, a really, really good uh, um, starport game or spaceport game, I think. You really need those combat cards, like, right now. Put them on top of your deck and draw them, you know, to win the combat for next round. That sort of thing, but... That kind of plays a little out right now. No one's going for that. Except, yeah. Oh, okay. Just seeing if there are any. I see. I see. I see. I get it. Well, just checking to see if there are any fold spaces in there. So I might be tracking cards here, and that's very difficult to do in this game, but sometimes it works. Okay, Worm Riders for Ariana. This is a spice for Leto. And point. Leto goes up to seven. And rest of the rest of the players are gonna have to start chasing Leto here. Baron might go up to another point here. It's gonna be seven and seven. To four and four and four. What happened? Taking it back, walking that back, okay. Not sure, Baron's not really sure where to go here. I, I'm not sure where I'd go either, probably Carthag, but I mean, do you need all of these? I mean, yeah, probably Carthag, right? What, what's, the, what's the worst that can happen? Calculated higher, huh, okay. I probably be tempted to like do that just thinking about it because you could go again he's thinking about it I, I like this play so do you go to then Haga Basin get to 
What do you do here? You could ship. You could ship without anybody getting in your way. You can go smuggling. That's kind of all you can do. You won't get the first action, though. Landing rights picked up for Beast. Landing rights picked up for Beast. I love this card. It's so powerful. Getting an extra um, spa or shipping every other round is so powerful, just for free. Got a reveal for B for Baron for two, three, four. Not doing much there, but we'll see two daggers. Brings them up to eight. And of course, thousand daggers in hand. So that'll be interesting. Spice Hunter pickup. Curious pickup here. I don't know why. Maybe just a defensive play to keep people off of a Fremen, but I don't know. It seems weird. It seems weird to me. This game has been abnormal, but sometimes games are. And uh, looks like we're going to be on combat. It's going to be a private army to start off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what do you do here, ambush? Looks like an ambush, right? Could also use uh, blackmail, go down with Fremen, then go back up with Fremen, get the water again. That's kind of cool. Go back up, get the water. Though... You're not going to be the only one with two water. It's interesting. Okay, here's an ambush. This is basically going to mean that Beast is not going to bother. Not going to bother doing this. They're just going to let it go. It is going to sting a little bit. It would have liked that. Point for the Baron. Going up to seven. Uh, both of these are at seven. And deciding where else is going to go up. Probably Emperor. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Emperor is fine. That's like a guaranteed point up there, so you might as well. All right, our first level three con the conflict is going to be Grand Vision, one of my favorites, and this could cause some problems for the players. Uh, admittedly, there's been a little bit lacking of conflict in this game, um, in that there's been people kind of going and I'll go in, then you go in, and then taking turns. They haven't really been fighting over things as much as I'd like to see, except for that last round. Uh, Grand Vision's going to change things a little bit because it allows certain players to le to leap others. So. Beast is going to have to defend Bene Gesserit. Uh, possibly, uh, Leto is going to have to defend Spacing Guild. It's a guarantee point here with um, Emperor. And, uh, and Baron's going to have to defend down here with Fremen. So this is a pretty sketchy, um, sketchy turn, sketchy round. And it's uh, action on Ariana. Ariana sitting on a pretty decent hand. We got Duncan Idaho. Access to Siege with Duncan Idaho, very good. Um, I mean, this is one of the best cards you can get is Ariana. Bene Gesserit, Initiate also might be in the cards here. We definitely want to get some. I'm just, I'm just wondering how you're gonna get your Swordmaster. No Swordmaster. It is so sketchy. And it'll you have one spice must flow, but you're gonna have to start catching up here. It's always it's always tricky with Ariana when you need spice. Like need it, need it. You're just really in dire straits trying to get enough. You just can't do it. It's it's a really hard. The shipping track does help a little bit. It does does get you that spice a little bit easier. Got one and used one. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
He's good. You're good. Um, what are your plans here? I mean, you've got Ixian Engineer, but not nearly enough tech. <clears throat> the tech is expensive. That's one of the problems here. Um, yeah, I mean, Aaron Calder's been unmolested at the shipping track this entire game, and we're probably going to see him reaping the benefits here. He's going to go up to two, to six spice, threaten Highliner. <clears throat> is the only one with clear access to the Highliner. It's going to go up with something, Benny Desert maybe. Could potentially threaten the uh, Fremen. Oh no, he's going to buy. All right. There we go. There we go, Shuttle Fleet. Disposal facility shows up. Didn't take his worm spice. Yep, yep, you gotta do that. working this out. Players are working it out and doing well, so I'm not going to get involved here. Uh, Shuttle Fleet is a big game for Leto. Now sitting on nine points. Nine points. So game looks like it could be over this round. Leto also, also the six troops in garrison. And all it really takes is you know, a couple of trips to Carthag, you know. He doesn't even really need this, but he kind of needs to, def he does want to kind of defend this, doesn't he? So it could be a little bit sketchy for Leto in the last action, last, last couple actions here. Uh, we are going to see Erex Liaison play over to Carthag or Arakeen here. Or Siege Tabor. I wouldn't be surprised with Siege Tabor either. The reason I say that is because you want the water, don't you? It's one of those weird things, and that's you need water to go researching. You gotta buy Spice Muscle eventually, right? Um, maybe, or maybe you just give up on that. It is a good combat for the, for Baron. Anyway, you strike it's a point. potentially uh, taking away a point from red. All right, so it is an Arakeen play. Okay, I'm gonna see two troops in here and the Dreadnought. Card, it's a, it's a signet ring. Beast, not beast, Baron does really want that, but oh, I mean, they're, Gonna get stuff stolen here. Looks like one of these is getting stolen. Ah, oh, I see, of course. I forget, this is the one that discards. I always think it's the Mother Mahoyam, but yeah, this one discards. Make some discard. Is going to, yep, get the two spice. This is a solid, I like this play a lot. Here's a point. Let's trash something bad, like desert. Yep, seems good. Let's draw. Wow, is this deck really that small? Holy mo uh, Okay. There we go. No other ways. That's potentially good. No access to second uh, Fremen, so. Uh, awkward. Very awkward. Hmm. Here's a very timely Mentat for Ariane. I like this play. I really like this play. Lito would have loved that Mentat for one. And picks up a Diplomacy. That's a, that's a big play. That's a big play. Was probably hoping to hit, what? I guess that's the best you could do here, right? 
That's actually the best, the very best you can do, because now you can highlighter. Uh, it it we we know it's not going to be enough, but it's it'll be a pretty pretty bloody battle. So let's see it happen. That'll be fun. Okay, we've got a guild play over to research. This is a block for Leto. This is a, a block on, on Beast here. Uh, not letting Beast get any headway. Still stuck on four points. Oh, five points, I'm sorry. Beast should probably have this. Okay, a couple troops going in. Not really much in it. I mean, it's a spice tiebreaker is my guess at this point. They've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gonna reveal and that's gonna be it. If they do that, they have a potential loss. They might not get there. Hmm, Baron's looking like it's, it's really going to come down to the Baron. There's a Rapid and another card I can't see because it's flipped. What is this? Urgent Mission. All right, there it is. Urgent Mission and Rapid. Wow, those are huge plays, actually. Really huge, huge cards for, this, for the Baron. Uh... Huh. All right, tech negotiation for beast. What? I'm a little confused here. What's going on here? What? What is he thinking? Detonation devices? There's no, he thinks it's gonna go another round. The only way it's going to go another round is if green wins this combat, right? If green wins this combat, then it goes another round. Otherwise, it's just going to be over. This is interesting. Yeah, I mean, blue could play spoiler here. It could be playing a real big spoiler at Highliner. Big, big spoiler. Everyone's gonna know, because Leto's out of position to actually reveal and buy a last point. Um, everyone's gonna know. All right, here's the, the draw. And it's... Oh, it's the rapid. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And a dispatch and envoy. Mm, not great without the swordmaster. Really needs the swordmaster. I mean, this is a baron combat. There's no way baron's going to lose this combat, right? It's just too many things in hand that work. Too many ways to win this combat. All right, back to the game. We've got Leto deciding where he's gonna go. He is unable to defend Fremen. So this is gonna be a buy for Spice Must Flow. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be enough this turn. Right, Baron's gonna overtake him. There's just simply no way around that. Uh, Baron's got two an action left, and, and Beast has an action left. Can Beast play spoiler here? Um, not with that hand. Really awkward hand. Some blue circles, but they're 
just city spaces are filled up right now. I mean, you can go to Siege Tabor. No, we can't even go to Siege Tabor. So these are basically dead cards. Beast with very little play right now. Everything's fine. Beast is going to, or Baron is going to reclaim the Fremen Alliance here, and there's not much you can do about it. He's going to win this combat. Uh, he has this interesting re finesse play, too. So, what can you do with finesse? Okay, so here's the only play that, that Beast had, is to go, go wealth. Um... He already went up. Get the thing. Did he get it? Five. Yep, he got it. All right, good. And it's on to reveal for for Ariana. Yeah, not much here. Water. Three, four, five, buy. So I guess you can pick up Gurney. You pick up Gurney, right? No, you don't. You pick up another Spice Smugglers, okay. Oh no, Gurney is six. Gurney is six, not five. Never mind. It's a reveal for Baron. Baron's not gonna do anything. Maybe he picks up Yui, but I doubt it. Maybe another liaison. Oh, okay. Burial's Rocked Over, you got it. It's interesting, interesting. It's a little bit ambitious. I don't think it's gonna go through your deck in time, but we'll see. Combat is gonna happen here in a second. We have a six, seven, eight by. Eight, nine by for, oh, Beast got there. All right, nice job, Beast. Nice job. Beast goes up to seven points. And uh, Beast now looking like they might overtake the Baron and might threaten for the win here because it isn't over yet. Takes the uh, Fremen Alliance back. What is happening? There we go, a little bit uh, grabby grab from players. Let's let's knock that off. And uh, intrigue, plans within plans. What does that get us? Not anything right now. Needs a bunch more influence. Uh, yeah, Carthag, sure. All right, and that is going to do it for that round. Leto sitting at nine. Beast nipping at his heels. And Baron back up at seven. So we've got potential battle for second and third place here. Battle for second. Action is on Leto. Gonna see a spice smuggler down to Imperial Basin for three spice. It's gonna be a Highlander turn. It is Imperial Basin. So two points, this could decide it. Uh, we're gonna see a sleeper must awaken no matter what happens though. Seven point turn. I think that uh, Ariana is just out of it though, unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it. Where's this going? Carthag? No, shipping. Okay. Down up. Yes, I like it. I like this a lot. I like it. Two troops. We've got two troops, one bump. That's a point. It's either way, it's, you've got to get a bunch of these things. Either way. I think you just take the point. Yeah, right. Free point. And Baron.
and goes up to eight. Still, Baron is really in the spot that can you know can take this this combat. Baron's looking to win this game this turn. There's no doubt in my mind, and it's going to be down to tiebreakers possibly. Um, see if like Baron's going to get like to buy anything. It's like kind of a spice heavy hand here. It's a bit bit clunky, bit clunky. Beast with, oh, a very dangerous hand. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Beast with a spice buy. Uh, see, this is a hardy warriors play for me. I think this is a hardy warriors play. Go up with the Fremen again. Get your points. Dump guys in. Um, and then reserve what? No, he's just going to do it now. And I, oh, I like this. This is pretty shrewd here, Beast. I like it. I like it. It is, oh, which one is it? Aaron Calder, a little bit of a gamesmanship over there. Go here, go here. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I like the research station better. I like the research station better. Do the thing. Everyone gets to discard a card. It's going to be a Spice Must Flow, probably, or a Dagger for Ariana. It's going to be... I'm not sure for Leto. Leto might be really stuck here between the Baron with a ton of combat and the Beast with also a ton of combat. A corner of the market. Can he get there, though? He's going to get there. He's going to get one point from that. So... Game is not over. Game is not over. Looked a bit over. Oh, here is Ariana coming in for the spoiler. And Leto has got to be furious about that. Did have a backup plan in The Sleeper Must Awaken, but boy, that hurts. That really, really hurts. Yep, point. Five points. Not sure what beasts pinging over there. All right, Leto's going to go to Arakeen. He's got to make this hand a little bit better. It is garbage. It doesn't get much better with that, unfortunately. But here come all the troops. This is going to be the last combat, so it is go time for everyone. This uh, Secrets of the Sisterhood is not doing anything. Unlikely that... Uh, that he's going to get an extra two bumps plus the secrets to, to get that alliance back. Okay, here's Baron blocking secrets so no one can take any more of his stuff away, which is great. Let's uh, see what he gets. This is Baron with all these intrigues. This is, this is scary. This is just, I don't know. It's very satisfying. Poison Snooper, that can be very helpful. He's going to draw it. Oh, can he get there? Two, four, five. I guess five. Takes the Mentat. Okay, what do you do with all this? Beast uh, totally expectedly goes to Hardy Warriors, gets some troops in the combat. Hollow projectors for Ariana finds a spice smuggler and does that do anything for Ariana? It gets us it's a symbol, so you can go to Carthag with it, right? Or Siege. I mean Yeah, it's a Carthag. We're sitting at twelve here, fourteen. Uh twelve. Eight. Oh my. 
this desert ambush is just sitting here. Wow, I, I'm so, I'm very disappointed in this. This is just sitting there. And he, he okay, I mean, it, it's fine to, to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven by, but not enough for Leto for the spice. You definitely want that. Um, and this is a bit disappointing. You definitely want to use the desert ambush to put guys, push guys out of combat. There's just no way to use that here. Uh, the extra sword isn't gonna help. Leto is out of combat, pretty much. It's over to beast or over to Baron. What does Baron do here? Options limited to Siege Tabor, probably, or... You know, I, did, I, don't, I don't think there's a lot of great options. I think you can recall now. Alternatively, you could Spice, sm spice Hunter to Smuggling. Uh, or he, maybe he's thinking about recalling and going to uh, Interstellar again. Maybe that's the play. I'm, I'm really not sure. Okay, he is thinking about that. So he recalls. It's cat's out of the bag now. The question is, where is he going? Back to Interstellar? <clears throat> Yeah, it is. That's it's the wrong one. Yep. Up and down, up and down. All right, so we've got two troops, one bump, and then some spice, right? So many things. Hmm. Oh, is he gonna try to sneak that too? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like this take away the uh, Bene Gesserit Alliance play here. You could do that. No one's gonna bother you. Wow. All right, that's fine though. <clears throat> so you went up with spacing. He's gonna switch it. Yeah, I don't know why you would, yeah. That doesn't make any sense going up with spacing at all. Um, makes sense to do that. Yep, I guess they're letting him take it back. Bit of a, bit of a sloppy game, this one. Could have been a little cleaner. They're, they're not going to let him take it back. Okay, all right. I am fine with that. The turn had passed, and someone did a thing. So that does make sense. Baron's going to be a little sad, though, that there's just nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. There's simply no actions that you, that get you what you want anymore. Yeah, I should have planned that a little bit, a little bit closer. Gone up with the Bene Gesserit, used finesse, gone down on the Fremen, I suppose, uh, and then just like you know, prayed that that stayed. Got a reveal from Ariana. There's a worm. So boy, that's a lot. Got a lot. There's a poison snooper, draws a bunch of stuff. This, this rapid mobilization is just rotting in hand. Sadly, though, there's not much else. Is there another card under there? There is. Oh, I see. That was an agent card. Okay, got to keep those separate. So we have four or five extra swords. Going up to 19. 
Wow. <clears throat> you know what? And this is just the saddest thing I've seen in a long time. The, with Baron unable to send troops in, just completely stonewalled here. Wow. He's going to get a point from Plants Within Plants, but not enough. Not enough. Wow. I think that just does it, right? He's got to play his card now. Five, six, seven. Here's Sleeper Must Awaken. That puts him up to 10. Yep, Sisterhood. Not gonna bother holding it as a bluff. Sure, because you gotta get the thing. It's something he can use right now. He's gonna use it. Oh my, here we go. Reinforcements, three more into combat. Is this gonna do enough? I mean, probably not, right? <laughs> but it's still it's still a cool play. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Fifteen for red. Nineteen for blue. Twenty for yellow. Green locked out of this combat, sitting with three combat cards in hand. Nowhere to go. Absolutely, just that's a. You know, one thing you could do is go Mentat, draw a card, and try to hit a desert space. Okay, here we go. Here's a play. I don't know if I like this play quite so much. What's going on here? He's shifting. He's doing Finesse. Finesse is down on Fremen, sure. No one's got any secret anything he's seen. That red's got nothing. Uh, the reveal, though, that's not going to do it. You know, got to go Mentat, right? Just draw a card. It's got to turn it into something different. I'm, uh, I, I don't, I don't like this. I think that is a, you got to play to your outs, you know? There's not much else you can do. It, it kind of sucks. If you don't have any use for the Solari, you might as well just go to Mentat once and see what happens. Man, I'm 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 a little perplexed. I'm a little perplexed. I think that that is the play. Okay, he's taking it back. He's thinking about it. Okay, okay, here we go. He sees it. Here's the draw. It's a dagger. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Baron. I'm that that's very sad. We have a point for beast putting him up at 9. Oh no. Baron is going to go to nine points with with four troops in the in the garrison and two combat cards in hand unable to use them wow that is really a shame uh and we're gonna see uh yeah blue is going to end up taking this combat with all of those combat cards in hand just completely just completely flattening uh beast here with a ton of troops in unfortunately uh, but what is this going to mean? That means that Beast is going to reveal uh, with a point in hand, putting him up to 10. And uh, Baron also has a point, putting him up to 9. And uh, actually, I mean, yeah, Beast getting second place here is going to give him enough spice to win the tiebreaker against Leto, so... So Leto with 10 points actually is going to get second place to Beast? Wow. Okay, so uh, 
So Raban is going to get first place. Bale will get first place with 10 points, 5 spice for Solari, beating Lita with 5 spice, 0 Solari. Wow. Okay. What a game. What a finish. Uh, yeah, there's the corner of the market. It's just worth one point here, but that's good enough. And the uh, Plans of the Plans is uh, going to bring Baron up to nine. And that is going to do it for us. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been, um, well, it seemed like a kind of a bit of a slow start, but quite quite the epic finish here at the end. And a bit of an upset for, uh, for Leto, who's playing very strongly throughout the entire game. And Beast just, yeah, just coming out of nowhere with uh, a couple of a point here, point there, and then the final uh, corner of the market. So thank you all for watching. We will uh, see you all on the next one. Take care. Be well.